the mentality, I guess, is, is pretty determined to, to break um, break the losing streak, I guess. We're, uh, we're very keen to get out there and, and, and show uh, the public what we can do and, and, and what we've been working on in the pre-season and in the early part of this season. Yeah, obviously not, not the greatest start ever. Um, you know, we're, not, we're, we're obviously not really happy with how we've been going. Um, and it was a good reflection that bye week. We sort of looked at, looked at a few things we could work on, um, quite a few things actually. We did a pretty uh, heavy review on that Friday and Saturday. Um, and yeah, as I said, you know, this is a bit of a journey. You know, you've seen sort of the Reds and Brumbies who have had sort of the same spine for the last years and they've really formed, I guess, found form at the right time. Obviously two wins on the weekend, I guess. For us at the moment, it's acknowledging the things we aren't doing well, but I guess moving forward. I guess the focus is just on, on our detail and making sure um, individually we're not, you know, making those errors. You know, those those drop balls that, that are letting us down. Those a couple of key penalties against us that are letting us down. I think if we can uh, eradicate that, that'll enable us to build a lot more pressure on teams, and 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 um, and, and uh, that'll develop into points. Watching the Brumbies win was great. You know, I'm all for you know good stories. You know, as we said before, you know, there's a lot of negativity around the game, and I was really happy to see them get, get a win over in New Zealand. I don't think they'd not shown teams on this since 2014. So, you know, I know we're all enemies on the field, but I was really happy to see. You know, there's a lot of guys in that team that I'm quite close with. It's good to see them get a good win over there.